What's up guys, it's your boy Jubei. Today we have a very special battle plan. This is between my dear friend Mars, who decided to play as the Franks, who I despise because of his use of Frankish Lancers. I am playing as the Picts, hence the guerrilla deployment. And uh, we haven't played this game in quite some time. I don't know if he has the Celtic expansion or not. But the picked guerrilla deployment is really the only fucking way to play the pigs. Now he's got some fucking sneaky shit over here, which he always does this to me, and I always fall for it. I went ahead and told him to attack the slingers, and he's gonna put three units of cavalry out. I realize it at the last second, I'm gonna back off. And here I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Um, I hesitated with my axe troops on the front line because I didn't know if they'd be able to stick it out until my black blades and Pictish swords showed up. So I hesitated with them and they're gonna get torn apart by hurlers. Look at these crazy motherfuckers, man. Berserkers are gonna go charging, axes are gonna go flying, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be bad. I kind of thought these guys were Dunskis. I didn't, I didn't really apply them. I, I really thought they were all just dead. And I'm going to try to pick off as much of his cavalry as I can before he uses it to my disdain. And finally, these guys are going to go charge in on these poor Germanic warband. I mean, if you saw this guy running up on you, Jesus fucking Christ, these guys are gnarly. And I'm going to hit Frenzy with everybody. Hence, hence the breaking right now. I'm gonna hit Frenzy as soon as I get in. He's charged his general in to kind of make up for it, but it's not, it's not gonna happen because I'm gonna target his general with my archers. I'm gonna go ahead and put on heavy shot, excuse me, fire shot, and try to get break some morale up here. And these spears, they're gonna stick it out for a long time. And those hurlers that I completely did not fuck over are coming back now. So he's going to absolutely crush that unit. Um, I mean, that's that's a hammer and anvil if I've ever seen one. And his general is still helping out. These these Germanic warbin, they were about to break, but he put his general in, and his general is going to fuck these uh, Pictish Axemen up. I guess he's going to he's gonna pull them out. He's probably going to cycle charge, because, you know, your boy knows what he's doing. And uh, these Germanic Warband are not going to fare so well. I switched over to Heavy Shot now because, uh, you know, that armor piercing damage. And my rear flanks, or my rear troops, have finally pushed up. And they're going to they're gonna just make a blob of fucking chaos here. And, uh, these archers have gone unchallenged so far. He, uh, I think he will at some point try to get some lancers on him but they're doing they're doing pretty good they're going unnoticed and they're doing a lot of damage doing a lot well not as much as I thought but the morale damage is enough to to really set it off crushed one of his Germanic warband mountain warband and um, Enemy units have been rallied. Th that's a phenomenal cavalry unit too for melee cav but this infantry is just not going to be able to withstand these black blades and the Celtic Spearmen coming up on him. He's going to charge these Celtic Spearmen, which made him waver just from the casualties. But I'm going to pull him back. I'm going to pull him back with my infantry and try to get these, these cavalry stuck in. Um, that is a good spear catch on his part. He moved these troops up to last second. I was going after his godforsaken slingers. I'm gonna pull up these spears from the back to try to clean up these uh, these royal and strutionis. I'm not. I have no idea how to. French is not a real language. So. And finally, he's going to uh, put some lancers and mount some warband out on my archers, and that's not gonna go so well. So he's getting some serious revenge there. What are the kills on these guys? 125, 47. General's got 102. 
And here comes my cab from the back. Finally going to get these god dang slingers out of the way. This dramatic war band, every, everything here is just fucking confused. And that was really the, my point in this. Is I just wanted to make Mars sweat. I wanted to make him sweat a little bit. And I knew that the Picts would maybe be able to handle the Franks, you know. Like, if, if, he, if I was going up against Rome, or like some phalanx bullshit, I, I probably want to try to pull this. And I really went into it thinking that it would just fail miserably, and... Uh, but I thought, you know, fuck it, it'd be interesting, I tried it anyway. And even though my spears are wavering, and I'm getting some crossfire on the whistling shot... Um, God, why? Why do I have whistling shot on? I'm still, I'm still gonna put some Celtic Spearmen in on him, because I always try to be conscious of Mars's cavalry, because it's just all over the fucking place. And it's, it's hard. Here, some of my guys are going berserk. They just, they're not giving a fuck. You can see them being all, all crazy. Oh, fucking black blades. They, they're just thirsty for blood, man. They're just heathen sinners, and they just want to eat that slinger meat. So his axes, hopefully that, yeah, <laughs> these these Celtic spearmen are no the fucking match for these warband. And I finally got his general, and that's enemy. pretty much the wrap for it. These Celtic lancers, or these Frankish lancers in the back, they're going to end up just breaking, just because such terrible losses, but it was a good ambush. It was, and he, I, I don't, he wasn't expecting it, and sometimes me and Mars... We've got a pretty even track record, like, I'll win three nights in a row, or three games in a row one night, and he'll win, uh, you know, three games in a row the next night, so, gotcha buddy, and, uh, that's a wrap, brought to you by your boy, so, thanks for watching guys, take care.